Okay, Joe, so this is Easy Bib, and we have my citation list, a new citation list. And so we're going to do this one and create it. And as you can see, my list of citations go on for a long time. But whenever I click this one, that means everything is going to go into that folder. So we're going to create a new citation. Here are our options. It could be a website. It could be a journal. It could be a book. Or it could be one of these on the list. Newspaper, film, and in those cases you would still have your URL or you would fill in the boxes, which I'll show you in a second. So these are all the 59 methods for citing something in an EasyBib project. Okay, so now we need to find a definition for Patriot. So I went to Google and I typed in what is a Patriot and I want to go to a vetted site. I don't know that this is going to give me all of the definition that I actually want. NPR is always, that's National Public Radio. It's a good site to find information. I don't ever go to Urban Dictionary because I don't think it's a vetted site. Never go to study.com. That's somebody else's lesson. They don't, that's not. Now this one is good. Are good Americans real patriots? What does patriot mean? Psychology Today, always a good one. Journals are good generally. Nothing Wikipedia. Just scroll right past it. You can't use it anyway. Cambridge Dictionary, okay, your dictionary. But of those, the things that I find right off the bat is just this one. So I'm going to go over here. And before I do anything, once I have it open, I go up here, I type the URL, I go back over to EasyBib, and we're, type, we're coming from a website. And I paste that in there, and I click search, give it a minute to think, it found it. And when it goes to the next step, it's going to show me some boxes, and it's going to ask me, do I have anything to fill in here? Fortunately, this found everything, so I don't need to do anything here, because all the boxes have been filled in for me. Sometimes that won't be the case. Complete the citation, and now it shows up in my list. Okay, so now I can go back over and see if that works. Let's say I'm going to look for lyrics. Okay, so lyrics, this lyrics.com is a good place. Find this is Joe McDonald's. I feel like I'm fixing to die rag, which is the Woodstock, I mean the uh, Vietnam song. So there it is, and there are all those lyrics if I want to use any of them or all of them in my essay. And all I do here again is copy that URL, go back over to EasyBib, it's still create a new citation, it's still coming from a website, paste it, and let's see if it finds everything. Sometimes it finds all the information like it just did before, or sometimes it's going to ask me to fill in some boxes. So, okay, I believe he wrote this. Let's go back and make sure he did. Let's go back over here and add in Joe McDonald. And the publisher, let's see if we can, we're just going to try anything we can find. If we can't find it, we just simply can't find it. It's asking for a publisher. I can go down here to see if a publisher is listed down here. Music blog. So it came from ST Lyrics. That's the copyright. So let's just put that in there. Go back over to EasyBib and we'll just fill whatever information we can into our thing. And this came from 2020. Well, that was, okay, that was supposed to just be ST Lyrics. And this is in 2020. I don't have the rest of the date. So that's just going to have to be enough. And that's going to happen now is it's going to create it. Sometimes it'll say you need to check something if they want. And you just will have to ignore it if that's. So now we have two. Let's complete the citations with all the citations for the project. 
And as soon as I'm through, I'll have this entire list of citations. If anything in this part was in all caps, then I want to make sure I change that so I'm not screaming at the reader. Of course, the URL may have all caps in it, but that's part of the URL, so that's different. Now we're going to click Export, and we're always going to go with Word document. It, everything else messes it up every time. So we know this is a winner, and that's going to open up down in the tray of the computer right there. And it's going to think about it a minute. And it will open it. And there it is, beautifully formatted. And the remainder of your citations will be shown below it. And we'll enable editing. And if there are any corrections to make, as I said, sometimes they put the site in all caps, and we need to change that. Uh, except for the URL, then we would take this, we would copy it and add it to the end of the essay, and there you go. Now, during the writing of the essay, if I'm going to uh, cite something, let's just say, I'm, remember, you don't want to ever show a live URL link, never in a works cited. So don't let it do that. Make sure it doesn't do that, even if you have to remember the Remove the hyperlink. Never let it do that. Okay? You want it to be just, did it remove it? Do whatever you have to do to remove that. Okay. So, if I'm going to cite something in my essay, if I want to add lyrics to the beginning or end of the essay or whatever, remember that's always indented and single spaced, whereas the rest of the essay would be double spaced. And at the end, uh, indented again would be I, the title and who wrote it and then the reader knows that they can go to your easy bib and they can find the total full thing make sure again that you remove any and all hyperlinks that is not what we do in a work cited so there I fixed that and there you go so now we have the citation and of course this isn't part of that I'm just showing you how to cite something in an essay all right so there you go. And then you take that and add that to the bottom. All right. Good luck.